Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of our Sprites Alive tutorial. In this episode we're going to look at the missile command and how you can use this to allow the player to shoot at some enemies. Now the first thing that we'll want to uh, do when we're using the missiles is we need to work out where to put them relative to our sprite. So if we look at say sprite 0 which is the spaceship there, and we're going to be using Sprite 24 here for the missile. So there's actually a program on the Sprites Alive disk called Offset. Okay, now if we run that, it's going to give us a little warning here. So what it's saying is that <clears throat> You need to actually load in your drawings before you run the program. So we'll break that. <clears throat> Put in our disk. And we can see that we've got our drawing file there. So let's load that. All right, now we can run the uh, offset program. So we'll just say drawing zero is going to be shooting the missile and the missile itself is 24. Okay, so we see this here. Now you might want to press the arrow keys. That doesn't work. You need to use the joystick. If you're using an emulator like me, then if you turn off num lock and use your number keys, that's going to activate the joystick there. So we just move this around until it's in a suitable location. Now you might say, oh, let's just put it right there. Uh, the problem is that because the spaceship could be moving upwards as it shoots, then it'll actually bump into the missile and then you'll, you'll get a collision error. So what you want to do is move it up a little bit. I find that that's kind of a good gap there. So we know that we want to be, we could be one or two, we'll say one pixel in the X and 16 in the Y is going to be our offset for shooting a missile when we're pointing upwards. Okay, so let's start with that. We'll go new. All right. So let's type in our program that we had last week. Okay, if we run this program, so we have our ship and it's flying around in all directions but we don't have any shooting so let's go back here, list the program okay so um, first thing that we need to do is we'll edit the keyboard command there so we say edit 60 and we want to be able to shoot in any direction so we add on 32 so instead of 31 it's going to be 63 so that enables the fire button, which on the keyboard by default is going to be space. If you're using a joystick, then it's just the fire button on the joystick. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do for now is get rid of the uh, multi-directional animation. We're just going to have drawing zero the whole time. Uh, the reason for this is that the missile command is linked to the drawing. So depending which way the ship's facing, it's going to shoot the missiles in different directions. Uh, but that means that we would have to actually do a command for not only every direction, but for um, every drawing that's uh, used in the animation sequence there. So it means that we'd have to do 24 commands, which uh, I will do later, but we won't do that now, just to simplify it. So we're going to get rid of 80 and 90. All right, let's try running the program now. So we can see that now, when you move the ship around, it keeps facing upwards. Now, I can press space, but nothing's going to happen because we haven't set up the missile yet. Okay, so we can see that the first thing we need to do is set up a missile type. Now, we want to use type 1 because that means that it's fired from sprite 1. We can either have type 0 for sprite 0, the joystick sprite, type 1, the keyboard sprite and type 2 is for anything else, so if you have an enemy or something that's shooting, it would use missile type 2. OK, 
Okay, so let's add in an extra line here. We'll say 91. We'll say this type one, and we're going to use 24 because that's drawing 24. Next thing we need to set up is going to be miss delay, which tells us how often it's going to shoot those little missiles out. So let's say uh, if I'm 10 is good for this, so we'll say miss delay 1 is 10. Right, <clears throat> miss dist, this is the maximum distance that a missile could go. Uh, we're not going to limit that because they're just going to go off the screen, so we'll just set that to the max, which is 127. Okay, and the last thing is going to be the bullet command. And what this does is it reserves a set of sprites out of our uh, sprite table to be used for these bullets. So in this case, um, I'm just going to go from 2 to 10. So that will give us, uh, I think, 8 that can shoot out. We shouldn't need more than that. To type 1, start at 2, and a 10. OK, <clears throat> there we go. Now if we run the program, we're still not able to shoot because we haven't uh, we haven't linked the missile to the drawing there. So let's add in another line there, and we're going to say missile for drawing zero is going to be a type one, and the offset is going to be from our offset program earlier, one in the x axis and 16 in the y axis. Now the direction, we don't want it to move horizontally at all because it's going up. And we want it to move up, we'll say six pixels going up. Ah, so <clears throat> the reason why it's not moving is because I forgot to change the move command. In line 110, it says move one, but it's only going to move sprite one. It's not going to move the other sprites, so we'll just change that to move all. And there we go. So I can move around, and whichever way I'm moving, I'm always shooting upwards because I'm always on that drawing type zero there. Okay, so what if we want to have the full multi-directional movement and multi-directional shooting as well? Let's put back in the animation commands. Okay, so I can shoot going up, but then the problem is that once we start to move up, because the sprite's animating, sometimes it's on a different drawing. And of course, if we move in any other direction, we're not getting anything there. So we need to add in more missile commands, which will link the missile types to those different drawings. So let's start with line 92 there. Okay, so we've got one missile there, and we just want to copy that for drawing one and drawing two. So now when we're moving upwards there, it's always firing regardless of which sprite we're on, uh, which, which drawing we're on. Now it's going to take quite a long time to type in the other ones. 
So I'm just going to paste them in because I have pre-calculated all of those. Okay, let's run that. See now that we are firing in all eight directions. So from this we'd have the basis for a simple space shooter game. We could have enemies spawning in. You're shooting at them, they're trying to hit your ship. You can get scored on how many enemies you destroy or how long you survive. And next week we'll take a look at some enemies, how to spawn them in, how to remove them when they get hit, how to do collision detection, and how to give them a little bit of AI so that they can chase the player around. Okay, thank you for watching.